Okay, Vino Black, and here's some more of the meatball out there, folks. If you didn't believe the black and whites, which basically I believe the black and whites better, but because uh, the colorization is colorization, but there you go. So more than likely, uh, no matter what, there you go. CME action, humongous. Uh, could be what's messing our, which basically barely missing us. I really think that this is Earth right there. Uh, you got Mercury and Venus right there. Uh, we know it, if you've been in talking to anybody on the radio today, it is static key. Uh, so there you go. Uh, meatball and a CME that's flopped out, and uh, other CME action up higher. And as I've always told you, the super giants in the sun are huge, okay? Because we know that it takes a little more than. Uh, 10 point something Venus, uh, Jupiter's, excuse me, 10 point something Jupiter's to make the size of the Sun, which is basically you round it off 11 Jupiter's, which is we know to be the biggest damn thing in the Milky Way galaxy to make the Sun. And the supergiants and the Sun are bigger together than anything. The supergiants main sequence and the Sun is in there and it is doing all kinds of stuff. So you get the meatball here to the left, you can't miss it. I think I got good screen size here and everything. I can't mess with anything. I think it'll make it smaller and so forth. So let's go ahead and go down through these on the clock and so forth and stuff. So here you go. Another shot from out in space. Like I say, more than likely that should be Earth back there. We know that that's marked Earth there. And as we know, that more than likely that meatball is probably... Is this the same thing that we're seeing out there? I don't know. I'm not trying to match up. Let's do the next shot. So basically, we're still here recording. And here we're coming through. And we got this. The meatball. We come back up. We got Mercury and Venus. So... Basically, when you see that big clump, which is more than likely like this here, which matches up with that clump that you see on some of the blue shots, can't remember which was A or B, when you see different cameras, and we know that they're different, and then we get uh, that object. We'll just keep going through these here. Different times, different shots. And that CME down there does that at that time. So, and since I just scroll through these real fast, you should be able to play with the video and go back and forth. And I don't think we're going to get be getting the one from Earth that shows that. But then this could be the. Uh, I mean, you know what that shot is. I'm going to quit babbling. I'm going to just keep on scrolling through the. No matter what, that CME action there to the right still also. And then down there, furthermore extended out of that one down there. And meatball never goes away. It's right there. So anything. What I'm hoping and praying for is no matter what, that the idea that maybe this thing ends up when the sun really gets into the supergiants, does it block us over a history of time from totally being eliminated on the face of the flipping earth? Who knows? But anyway, this should be out our back door, as you know, because we see the sun is to the right here, all these CME action. And no matter what, somewhere up here, somewhere the Earth is, either here or here or somewhere around this circulation, like a stereo play, Mercury and Venus, okay, around the Sun and the supergiants to the right, and then we know this is out the back door. Big humongous. Okay, so let's keep going down through the shots. And I could blow up and go to each picture, I just don't have time, okay. If I set myself up and go and on, you know, and go ahead and have you pay for time to be able to do this stuff, but I got work to do. So, and then we got 14th. Again, more spread out of that CME down there. Now what we'll do is we'll pretty much work our way back because basically this is the 2300 hour, 29 minutes, one second of uh, the 14th. And then we'll just scroll back up as you see the times and the dates to the left. So 
like I say, very high possibility that that is Earth there. Or even that could be Earth there, the tinier one. Okay, because we're somewhere in this circulation, circular orbiting of the sun of like, because we know Venus and Mercury and Jupiter, uh, everything that we know circulates the sun. We rotate to the east and we circle the sun in the supergiants. So 365 days we circle the sun. So and the meatball doesn't go away to the left. Okay. And then so we'll go to the next shot. Actually, I'm just going to skip like five or so shots because the time frames will go up to top of the hour. There you go. And then there's some CME action there to the right. That lower action there. The meatball never goes away. Okay, and then we got this. And like I say again, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and scroll back up like four shots. One, two, three, and four there. See what we get. So, the latest from the sun from Pinot Black. Truth, data, facts, 24-7 so that little kids don't have books burnt in school or at the libraries. So nothing disappears and the truth and facts are always known. Uh, Pinot Black LLP, LLC. And we're going to start get ourselves a PayPal account and let people start and maybe we can get some more in-depth fancier movies just like every day you can just be able to go on and you have it fed to you guys we'll get it appropriate so they don't really have to even go around and search this stuff we'll give you links all kinds of stuff because this is going to be around for a while something that big doesn't just fly away like a kite or anything not even as fast as a kite okay or maybe orbit somewhere but anyway always going to be there and other objects that we probably don't get on overlay also so but we want to say thanks to all the people that serve in the armed forces because that keeps everything at a optimum that we have now that we can get all this stuff okay freedom access to the internet economy which from what i can hear lately is booming pretty good lately i mean you know we're going to see some jobs i'm sure might just maybe take a presidential change who knows we'll see what happens so, anyway, CME shower there also, to the right, you can't miss it, we know what it looks like by now, okay, and we'll move up a couple more, and we're just going to keep going through this, and then you see some CME action there, off in the distance. So, what get interesting on this shot is that just, um, we're just going to say that that CME keeps spreading out, but it sure gets a little bit of a, let's go back to like two frames here and see what we had going on down there. Because we know that's going through time, so it's interesting to see that was a huge CME. It went low and then came back up into the field of view. Because now I'll skip like up here because we know we were up there a minute ago at about four up. And there you go. So this spreads out because we go down through time here, okay, to the 23, 2901, 2329 hours, okay? So, and then we'll scoot back up because this shot should show me in the time frame that we are at. Uh, I guess it doesn't show the time on it, so I should have a highlighter. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll go four up from that. And like I say, I don't edit. Uh, I mean, there's been times when it's like a total screw up when I'm recording, but normally I just look at the data and give you guys the fly on the fly looking at this stuff. And uh, huge CME action out there in space. Trying to not scare anybody by showing you the distances. Watch the video before this one. I had big Beano Black. 
that would have showed you the meatball here also in the gray background and then the factual of objects that are coming close to earth are still pretty damn far out we are in a safe very safe area we don't want to hit any blasters and start going anywhere so uh seems to be the powers to be somehow or other no matter what the power the earth pretty much stays somewhere safe even with all this right here because more than likely this is the stuff that just barely glanced and missed us and we might have a beautiful coronal that has very bigger than what you think we do know it to be and it is keeping us safe because you can see a big roundness around what I presume to be earth which I presume to be that there and we get a nice plasma some you know people have names that they say about stuff and a lot of people say plasma about out in space we've got some kind of ocean in that basically plasma or whatever space consists of out there that sure seems to look like it keeps us safe okay because no matter what we're either that little niche back there or something here because we are something there because our convenience is there so and like I showed you earlier and let me just go ahead and show you a sechi map for today where things should be located at and there you go folks so all those shots are what's out in space and earth's over here and that satellites are ours are way the hell out there and they are they are not at a height of earth in space okay they are at a you can go to their their I have a website up here there you go there that's their information and you can go to a lot of other stuff that they have I ain't going to waste time looking for it, but there is a certain orbit that they went to. It's a safe orbit between us and the sun, okay, and the supergiants to be able to stay in a uh, orbit and uh, with us, Earth, and the sun, and it's in a safe area, so it's not at the same height as Earth, okay? So when they're looking at it out there in space, they're not, they are up, shot up, into space, safe routes, stay out of debris and so forth and so on but the CMEs do affect them and hit them and this is the, la the latest CME mapping so earth is there the little yellow and you can see all your deals up here and like I say mercury helps shadow uh, messenger which is a satellite that we've got up there in space which is right there uh, from a lot of that action it hides out in directions of mercury uh, thank God that those CMEs can't go as fast enough to hopefully I think that messenger dodges behind mercury all the time Possibly jet propulsion would know about that to get out of the way of major blasts and all the satellites are Engineered to try to withstand CMEs as much as they can curiosity is going up to Mars It's got the rover on it, and it's got a lot of redundancy in it too, Hopefully and it'd be interesting to know some of the radiation readings and stuff like that, that they've put out and opened up early to get readings of some of the CMEs going up to the moon and like I say this is your date there okay so these are dates okay this is March and this is going from the looks like the is it good down to the 17th 17th 16th and the 16th from today on so I will basically holler, you can keep your eye out down here on Earth, and I will basically holler out to you, I will go the 16th, 15th, okay? So I'm going to hit the 15th again when it comes around, 15th, 16th. So what you're seeing is more than likely what I've been seeing is on the 15th and 16th, we get it, okay? And then there's a little bit afterwards also, so... And as you see, that CME goes out into space, this one here, which is nice that it goes way off into space. And then we look at Mercury and Venus as location, too. You got Mercury and Venus there. Mercury is the one that's helping out Messenger not get burnt his ass off, Chris. So you know that Earth is in that shot when you see Mercury and Venus, because that's Venus there, the green one, and Mercury is the orange one, and Earth's over here. So not trying to scare anybody we are in our very unique spot in space and then you have Kepler satellite and MSL up there and you got Mars out behind us okay and Mars only takes two years to get to Mars right now with our curiosity thing so it'll be gonna be interesting what they see what they see from up there and it'll be interesting to start seeing some of that Chinese footage that they have so 
from their lab being up there. They have a lab up there. So up by Mars. So Saturn is the one I say to keep an eye on. Okay. Uh, we don't have that in here on the map on this. Saturn is the